Hey, bingo. The ocean makes me feel so sexy. Uh, yes, sir. 
Uh, about half the squadron was at the club that night, sir. And Bill is not the only one to dance with Marcy, sir. Uh, Commander Waker's wife, sir. Say, boy, I don't look so good. Well, it's nothing. It's just that. You know, was something thing I was telling you. Some yay? I don't know, sir. Uh, usually I, wow. I had this kind of dull pain all night around my umbilicus, and every time I press on the McBurney point, I get a sharp pain. <laughs> Did you go to medical school? No, sir. No, sir. I had a cousin who was a doctor. She taught. He taught me a lot. Well, you better go to sick bay. That is an excellent idea, sir. I'll run a blood test to check your white cell count. That ought to tell us if your appendix is inflamed. Well, whatever you feel is necessary. I'll send in a nurse to draw blood. I hear you have quite a practice in Hollywood, sir. Beverly Hills. There's a subtle difference. <laughs> Excuse me. Left arm, please. Oh, God. I hate needles. Can I buy a cup of java, Commander? You wouldn't have any stomachs who might be interested in taking a jet shock, would you, sir? Oh, darling, what are you going to do? I don't know. What do you do? If I don't buy care, then I'll testify. What do you tell him? The truth is that Jack was to get one Saturday. I spoke up with you. You're all right? Yes, same as my husband. But it hasn't stopped like I'm running in every blind from here to Norway. Oh, I'm just lucky I fell in love with you. That's adultery. Oh, I know. You can have other careers. But we don't have a choice if it's the only way to prove that you didn't kill her. Make a fist. When the camera comes back, I'm going to tell him that I was with you Saturday night. I'm sorry. It was okay. was murdered. No, I want you to do that. I don't want to hear. To prove my innocence without you testifying and ruining our careers. Why you're here? Yeah, what's the phone number, Commander? Use it in good health. She will. I don't want you testifying. I should have the results in 15 minutes. How do you feel? Much better. Great. Excuse me. Well, Anson, which is it? Sir, my nurse. She your uh, girlfriend or your fiance? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Not that that's funny. funny. I guess I'll leave it. That's hysterical. What? It, it may 
even myself as a kid, but to leap into Al as a young Navy pilot was the strangest of all. I wasn't such a bad-looking kid, was I? <laughs> no, you weren't a bad-looking kid. Bingo. Bingo. God, nobody's called me that name in a long time. Yeah, we'll be grateful for that. Sam, it's mind-boggling. I've been spending six hours talking to myself, literally. It's weird. It's weird. Do you know that you're you? I mean, does he know that, that you're him? Uh... No, no, I think that I'm my Uncle Jack. Or he, he thinks that I'm Uncle Jack. Uncle Jack was heavier, older. But he, I mean, uh, the young I, the young, well, he called me Bingo. Bingo thinks that this is all a practical joke of chips. Which, I guess, oh, have you met Chip? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, he showed up right after I leaked in here. In fact, it was his idea. Yeah, he's got a the... nice guy, isn't he? Yeah, he and I were tailpipe buddies. We flew together for 10 years on and off. And then he, he caught a sand missile over high phone. Gee, I, I gotta go see. I gotta go see Chip. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Where are you going? You gotta tell me what I'm here to do. What did he say? Oh, yeah, I don't know. I've been so preoccupied uh, with myself. No pun yeah. intended. But I'll get you some points. Yeah, this was the June 25th, 1957. So, here I'm 23. Mm -hmm. June 25th. God, wait a minute. What? June 25th, Lisa. Lisa, turn me on, Lisa. What? Now? Oh. <laughs> Lisa, stop! your fault, you know. The hell it isn't. You leaped into the need to save Lisa. Only I didn't get here time to tell you that. Because I was talking to myself. No, if I was here to save her, why haven't I leaped? Because you didn't save her. Success has nothing to do with leaping. Now you know that. Oh, I know how painful this is for you. I barely knew her, and I... I'm hurting, too. Just... I really don't believe that I was here to save her. And why are you here? I don't know. I, I, I think we should ask Ziggy. charges so you didn't leap in to save me because lisa already did it god love her oh boy oh boy what uh i wanted to ask ziggy what the odds are that you're going to be court-martialed i told you they never press yeah, charges no, no, just why don't you just ask him though three to one and that uh, you'll be convicted even even money sam yeah. Sam, what's going on here? Ah, uh, Al. I changed history. I thought I was here to prove your innocence. 
So I told Lisa not to say anything to Commander Dobbs, so she never told him that she was your alibi. Oh. Well, I'm glad. Maybe you're glad I just blew your alibi. Yeah, but there won't be anybody gossiping over Lisa's grave this time. Where are you going? I've, I've lived through the worst of this time, and now I'm going to go and live through some of the best of it.
run from your car. I watched you catch her, tear her clothes off, rape her. You watched your wife being raped and did nothing to stop it. It was some kind of game, wasn't it? You didn't want to sleep with Marcy, you wanted to rape her. I didn't rape your wife. So Saturday night she decided to play along. That's it, isn't it? You're sick. So is Marcy. That was the beauty of our relationship. We were both equally perverted. And when there's equal perversion, there's no perversion. Just pleasure. Now she's gone. It's all gone. And I'll never find another woman to love me like that. Ever. That's why tomorrow, I'm sending you to the gas chamber. By lying on the witness stand. Oh, Sam, Chip has got the guys coming over. No. Just by telling the truth. Choose about what? Tell him the truth about what? About what happened to his wife. He claims that he was on a cliff above the beach and saw you rape her. That's impossible. Yeah, well, listen to Nam tell it. He's born about his family. Is that me? I didn't say that. Did he testify against you? Did he accuse you in 57? No. No. You're changing everything, Sam. It's you. I'm not trying to. Well, I know you're not trying to. Oh, no. What? No, there's an 81.6% chance that I get convicted. All right, all right. Now, just calm down, okay? I get found guilty, and I get sentenced to the gas chamber. Execute. I'm not going to let that happen. How are you going to stop it? By finding out who really raped and murdered her. I'm going to die in the gas chamber. You're not going to die in the gas chamber. If anybody dies... It's going to be me. Oh, big deal. You are me. Stop it. Look, if we're going to solve this thing, we got to stay calm. you got to calm down. I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm, I'm calm. calm. I'm calm. I'm, I'm calm. Good. Now I want you to go back and talk to Bingo. If I've changed history... If? Then... What do you mean if? You said you were going to be calm. Okay, okay. Okay. If I've changed history, then you've lived through it. Do you remember going down to the beach with Marcy? I didn't go to the beach with Marcy. Maybe Bingo's memory is a little fresher than yours. My memory is as fresh as it can get. I did not go to the beach with Marcy. I, I met Lisa at the... Uh, at the. See, I mean, just ask Bingo, all right? Please, oh, just... no, no, at the Seabreeze Hotel. In La Jolla, see? I just forgot it for a moment. It's been over 30 years. No. Oh, that's, that's got to be Chip and the guys. Uh, just a minute. You never went to the happy hour, so they're bringing the booze to you. I mean, to me. But booze in the barracks would be against regulation. Oh, we never paid any attention to that. But that Marine Guard in the door would. I'll see you later, Sam. Wait, wait, wait. Aren't you going to stay for the party? Uh, it's not going to be a party. Huh? It's going to be a wake. They're coming to tell you Lisa's dead. I'm going back to the waiting room. I'm going to talk to me. I gotta admit, this is a pretty neat trick. It's not a trick. It's not a trick. You have traded places in time with Dr. Sam Beckett. His aura surrounds you and yours is surrounding him. So I, I'm him and he's me. Right. And who are you? I, I, I don't think you're ready for that. <laughs> All right, Chip. Come on out. I know you're here somewhere. Chip is still back in 1957. <laughs> you're good. I'll give you that and you do look like my Uncle Jack. And my sister, uh, my sister, my sister, I can't remember my sister's name. 
Trudy. Trudy, yeah, Trudy. Trudy. It's okay, don't panic, because Trudy. Living in time sometimes creates gaps in your memory. Trudy. God, I can't remember my last name. Calavici. It's okay, Calavici. the gaps will fill in eventually. Lisa. Lieutenant Lisa Sherman. Thank God I didn't forget oh, what good, name. Good. It's important what you do remember, especially what you remember about last Saturday night. Oh. The night Marcy was murdered. Yes. So that's what this is? This is an interrogation? No, no, no. Well, it won't work. Look, whoever you are, wherever you are, I didn't kill her. You hear me? I didn't kill her. He's lying. I saw Ensign Calavici rape my wife on the beach at Torrey Pines. You watched Ensign Calavici rape your wife and did nothing to intervene? I tried to climb down from the cliff. That's when I fell, hit my head on a rock. I was knocked out for a short time, and when I came to, Ensign Calavici was gone, and my wife was lying half naked on the beach, dead. How long were you on the cliff watching someone rape your wife? Not just someone. It was Ensign Calavici before you tried to get to the beach. A minute, maybe two. A minute or two. Sir, I object. I'm trying to demonstrate how long two minutes really is. I had a ship blown out from under me in the Leyte Gulf in less than two minutes, Commander. It can be a lifetime. Or a blink of the eye. Now get on with it. Did you do anything during this two minutes other than to watch? No, I believe I did not. You didn't yell? Yell. Hey, stop that! I object. Defense counsel is badgering the witness. The commander requested clarification. I simply gave it to him. Objection overruled. Did you yell? No, sir. You watched a man rape your wife for a minute or two and didn't even yell stop? No, sir. For God's sake, commander, why not? Because she deserved it. He was going to send me to the gas chamber. Certainly trying. The U.S. Navy may not trust a rowboat to Commander Riker after his testimony, but they don't believe it for precisely that reason. Why well, would his career to convict me? The question is, but why? If you didn't murder his wife, and I believe you didn't, Commander Dirk Riker is lying. Did he save his own neck? I mean, if he murdered his wife, What's going on with a career compared to the gas chamber? Maybe that's it. But you don't think so? No. I think the man on that witness stand believes you raped and murdered his wife. Sam, we got to talk. Commander, if I can have a few moments by myself before we reconvene. You won't be alone. Yeah, well, I've come to think of him as my shadow. <laughs> I'm glad to see you keeping your sense of humor, son. It's important. Sam, come on. We got deep trouble here, Sam. The odds of my getting convicted are 92% now, and they're going up. Riker's testimony is devastating. Well, I'm devastated. I think I am. I think I'll go find the killer. Well, what are you doing here, then? I'm standing trial under guard. God, 95%, now they're 95%. What did Bingo say about Saturday night? Same thing I said, of course. Met Lisa at the Sea Breeze Hotel. And that was before Marcy disappeared from the O Club. Now there's a 96% chance I'm convicted. 97, geez, 98. 99. Say, stop it. Then, yes, there is a 100 percent certainty that Henson Calavici will be found guilty and executed in a gas chamber. Why are you staring at me like that, sir? 
Samuel? Where'd you get that hand link? And there's now. Now? You know, there is an 88% probability that that young man will shoot at the slightest provocation. She'll be there in 40 years anyway. 40 years? Just do it. Samuel, anything you say. And don't call me Samuel. The last person to do that was my great aunt Tilly. Sir? Sir? Hmm? Come on, Shadow. So, it was dark. You were 228 feet away. How can you be so sure that it was Ensign Calavici that raped your wife? Because I recognized him. From 228 feet? And in the dark? Yes. Commander, I propose that it is impossible to identify a man's face from that distance in the dark. The height, build, and uniform of the man that raped Marcy was identical to those of Ensign Calavici. Sir, I can give you a dozen officers on this base whose height, build, and uniform would be identical to Ensign Calavici. I saw Marcy get into his Corvette I followed them to the beach. It was him. I was afraid to go to sleep. Afraid that I'd forget Al. Lose him forever. You are quite impossible. Pardon? Well, actually, not you, Samuel. But Sam. You know that, uh, satyr that you leaped into? Okay, what happened? I did as you requested. I took Ensign Calavici into the control room. He was stunned. By the technology. My pulse communication technician, Tina, <laughs> <laughs> They're lovers. 
first. Oh, but she's married to Gucci. I gotta get history back on track. What, what did Ziggy, what did Alpha say? It's projected. A 72% chance that the Ensign's black Corvette hit a singularly volatile vehicle, if I may say so. It could be used to prove his innocence. His car. His car. I will shoot you if this is a trick, sir. This is not a trick, Sergeant. I'm a corporal, sir. Yes, you are. I'm, I'm sorry. What are you searching for, sir? I'm not sure. Neither is Alpha. He's predicting that something in the car is important, but the car itself can prove your innocence. The car itself? Sir? What is it? Freeze! No, do what he says, Sam. I'm froze. I'm froze. He's froze. I'm going back inside, sir. Now, sir! Back inside, Sam. Anything you say. Whatever you say. Whatever you say. Hi, Tina. Tina? Oh. There's no time to ask about my love life. I never thought I'd hear you say that. And Ziggy, she still called Ziggy, right? Sam, what's going on with you? Nothing. Look, just one of the odds of me being found guilty. They've gone down to 20%. <laughs> Because I found one of your silly cigars. I found my cigar. I didn't start smoking cigars until I went to Vietnam. That's got to be chips. Oh man, I, I didn't burn a hole in your upholstery, did I? No. Stuff was in the ashtray, Chip. Right where you left it on Saturday night after you dropped me off at the Seabreeze Hotel. Yeah, yeah I guess so. That's the problem, Bingo. Problem? The problem is that today Commander Riker testified that he saw me rape his wife. Oh, man. I know he's trying to hang you on this, but... The claim he was there? <laughs> he was there. He followed the Corvette to the beach. From the cliff, he mistook you for me. What happened, Chip? She was a tramp. A real tramp. I loved her. Loved her from the first time we slept together. First time, last time. That's the way she played it. What happened, Chip? After I dropped you off at the hotel to meet Lisa, I went back to the old club.